Good morning. Dave here. Hope you're all well. It's just after 7am, Sunday morning, the 17th of April. And what's special about today? Well, it is Easter Sunday. But I've kind of got my own little resurrection going on. As today is the day after the cardio version before back in the sinus rhythm. Feels rather wonderful, I have to say. So I just wanted to share a few experiences with you all. And a uh, bit of a thought of provoker, I suppose, as well. So, when you go for any kind of medical thing at the moment, they'll ask you to do a COVID swab. Make sure that you find out what the time is for the COVID swab. I just turned up. They were not very happy with me. But don't tell me the time. What am I supposed to do? So apparently I was doing it at 10.30 on Thursday. I turned up at 8. Anyway, all sorted. Um, second thing is, probably take the lack of communication from the hospital on your COVID swab as being positive. As in, you're negative, not positive. Because if you were positive, they'd be calling you saying, don't come in. My advice would be, if you've still got any, is do a lateral test on the two days before any ops, because then you can at least check yourself. Third thing I would say is a bit of advice. The day before your operation, when you're on amiodarone, make sure that you keep a hat on, even though it's a nice sunny day and warm day. I didn't, got a little bit burnt. And the daughter said last night, well, you've got a bit of a pink, a purple spot on your cheek. Excellent. So slowly but surely, I'm turning into a character from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the procedure itself was quite straightforward. I remember going down to theatre. In fact, I actually insisted I walked to the theatre. Um, onto the bed, pad on the front, back here somewhere, pad on my back on my shoulder blade, already cannulaed up at that point, was told to just take some normal breaths of oxygen whilst they administered whatever fantastic juice they give you to make you go to sleep. And. Uh, told me to just keep breathing, keep my eyes open and focus on the ceiling. And then the next thing I remember is I'm talking to a nurse with my eyes closed. And I said, oh, I'm really sorry. I've, I've closed my eyes, haven't I? Um, do you want me to keep them open while you guys do the do, the do with the cardio version? She says, we're already done. So that's how, how it actually feels, guys. You, know, you don't actually feel anything at all. I didn't even feel myself you know, not go off for the nap, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. I um, could feel straight away something felt different, but this is my second cardio version. I had the last one about three years ago. And when I had that first one, it was instant, it was immediate. I could feel the difference straight away. Yesterday, I think I was probably still a little bit groggy when I came round from the anaesthetic. It took me about 20 minutes and I could definitely feel the difference. And uh, I'm able to have a conversation with you while I'm walking and I'm walking at a reasonable pace. There's Luna down there. Beautiful morning here in Mansfield, by the way. And um, you just have to be observed for about an hour and a half after, making sure that uh, everything's as it should be, your blood pressure, your pulse, etc and you don't pass out or anything silly. Now the only thing I have found, just uh, I wear an Apple watch and they're not the most reliable of things at times and four holes should really be three holes on the wrist but then three holes feels a bit tight and uh, we've had a little bit of wonky data is what we'll say overnight. So two or three periods of uh, quite high, high, uh, high heart rate, but not sure. 
So I'm going to keep an eye on that one over the next few days. But it's funny how it's only overnight. So it could be when the heart's just at rest and it's going, Ugh! I just want to just beat. Um, the good point is that the heart rate remained low yesterday, nice and steady. So pleased with that. Um, obviously not allowed to drive for 24 hours. So uh, I should be back out today driving. Although the first thing I did when we came out of the hospital was go around Morrison's. I know. So that's how quick it can be in terms of feeling the difference. Although the wife would not let me uh, carry the bag. I know, hey. Um, so I just wanted to say that uh, you've been amazing again, guys, all of you. Um, the support you give as peers towards little big old me is quite incredible. And if we could bottle it, I think we could make a few quid. So thank you all for your comments and your interactions on my posts over the last couple of days. You know, I'm not, an in, I'm not a social media uh, expert. Um, in any way, shape or form, but I do like to try and raise awareness of heart failure and the Beat HF campaign for Nick and the team. And doing so is really important. So this video today is actually going to go onto YouTube as well so that I can share it onto Twitter because um, it's important that we do um, share stuff like this. Sorry, I'm just switching around because the dog's just decided she wants to go right the way around and it's going to turn me over on the lead. Um, bit of a longer video than I normally do. Sorry, hope you've managed to see through from uh, the top of your coffee to the end of your coffee whilst watching it. Having a great Easter Sunday. Eat as much chocolate as you want, but not too much. If you're with your families today, have a great day. I'm heading out with my daughter today and then uh, have a nice meal this evening with the family. Maybe even a barbecue, you never know. But have a great one, and thanks again. You are all marvellous. Bye for now.